Hello folks and welcome back to Core Farm. Here we are, we've got our root crops loaded up, so we've got just under half a million litres of parsnip and just under 790,000 litres of carrots. So we're in March at the moment. I thought about planting, you know, cotton now, something about that a lot in the last couple of episodes, but actually, you know what? I'm going to do something different. What I'm going to do is, rather than doing that, we've got a couple of fertilizer contracts to do, we'll get those done. So yeah, we'll go to our crops now, we're going to skip till April very quickly in this episode. Because I'm going to be planting soybeans and sorghum. Why? So if we look at our productions, in the last episode we sort of made the decision to give back to the community in a way, so... We put down a bunch of industrial stuff, so not that, but yeah, things like the industrial BGA, network distributors, and that, frozen factories, and all that good stuff. But what we want to do for the community is using sorghum and soybeans to get ethanol and diesel. Also, we've got canola underway, so we can use that to get. I was first of all thought about getting canoe oil and that, but we've run out of potato, so we we'll use canoes to get diesel and that. No point really doing corn and that. So yeah, what that would do is give us ethanol, diesel, sorghum meal, soybean meal, and canola meal. And also we can use it to get some compost and diesel to make some biofuel and that. So, for example, biodiesel and all that, so... And actually, we can use, like, the sunflower oil itself... ...to get... Actually, I'll do that. I'm going to turn that on. I'm going to set diesel to distribution. And with diesel underway... I can turn that on. Can't turn those on. I'm just looking at what I can and can't turn on. So yeah, that is it. So yeah, so that is all one. What I need to do now is, well, first of all, reverse. I have to do. Whoa, that's a lot of traffic. Rather than just tabbing around, I'll just go to the farm production. Because first of all, I was going to sell the sunflower oil because I've got no more use for it at the moment. You know what? Set that to distribution. And what I'm going to do is go over here a sec. Oh, uh, no, not you. Where's the potato factory? Preserve food. Potato processing plant. And yeah, so make sure it's this one here. Yeah, we've got no more use of making crisps than that. So you know what I'm going to do is sell this so don't waste any product being distributed unnecessarily. But yes, yeah, so with all that done, let's get this taken over to... Oops, my bollards. Yeah, let's get this taken over to the production area. We're going to top up our productions in that, and then whatever we have left over, we will sell. And there we go, we're at the production town. You've skipped ahead till March tool. So let's top this up with carrots. Then we'll pull forward. Put some parsnip in. And yep, just got to go over here to the soup factory and do the same. And then whatever we have left over, we will sell. So that's all topped up. Now for the soup. So overall that left us with 557,000 litres of carrots and just under a quarter of a million litres of parsnip. So, okay. We're not open just yet but skip heads till 9 o'clock. Also, check on our animals, how are they doing? Navigate all these tabs and that. Got another frozen contract available. Chickens are doing good. Cows are doing good. 
Yeah, they're all doing good at the moment. Sheeps and that could do with some more food, but they do last a while now, so... To be fair, I am in no rush for that. But yeah, also one thing I was going to do as well is... When we're planting sorghum and soybeans, we're going to be splitting them up, so... That big cluster section is going to be soybeans. 88 is going to be sorghum. Along with two new plots of land. Just going through this. Yeah, along with two new plots of land that we haven't purchased, but can be creating fields. So, first one is this area here by the production facility. And also, we're in the process of creating a second field up here. I thought, yeah, we've got two fields close together. Why not? So, got 223,000 leaves for that. And now for the last bit of the carrots. And just for those last bit of carrots, that's another 124 grand. And with all the productions we've got running at the moment. Actually, I think we're barely net gaining at all. I was saying that now we're producing diesel and that, but remember that's not for us to sell now, it's for the community. What we'll do at some point is, perhaps on a final episode, we can do a tanker doing that. Whether diesel they've been excessively producing, we can get a tanker loaded up and sell it to neighbouring areas, to other farmers in the region and all that good stuff. So, first of all, we can return these three. Well, actually, can we do with some, some more honey in here? Yep, we get some more honey transferred over there. So yeah, let's go and put the honey in here, and then next I think really is, well I think we'll f before we do any drilling, because yes, if we look at the crop candor, if we plant soybeans and sorghum, sorghum's going to be ready in August, and soybeans is going to be ready in September. But first of all, Let's do this, get this field ploughed. And I think we're going to need some fertiliser, right? Oh, fertilise the alfalfa field. Put a second application of fertiliser on these. They'll be done when we drill. And actually, technically that'll be filled as well when we drill, but... Yeah, let's not worry about that. But yeah, we need to fertilise the alfalfa field. Whilst we're over there, we get our contracts on at field 40. And head over to field 17 and 18. And we've got time as well, or what should I say, if the contract is still up. We get field 133 done, and it's just up here. So, yes, you 40, the alfalfa field 133 up north. Loop back around down past the old BGA now and the new BGA. Down the main road, 17 and 18. And then, yep, yeah, we'll be in a for afterwards. And let's get to planting the, <laughs> the crops. And I'm losing my words today, but yeah. So, yeah, let me get this furrows done, get this plowing done. And I'll see you folks in April in rainy time for the drilling.
And right there, we've got some bells here. This is from three contracts we've been working on. So, yeah, 22, 28, and 33. Gobble boats, and yeah, that's the thing I'm going to be doing as well is just still do contract works. As I mentioned in last episode, it's in a way we're going back to our roots and that. Like, we've done a lot of contract work start off with the series, and I'm thinking, why not continue it? So what I'm going to do is sell these bells. Should get a decent little profit from it. And the mice got down a bit. And that's partly because I've just been doing little bits here and there. Like, we had a bit of sword up in York, so I took them over to the BGA. And also just been readjusting. Let's get rid of this one bell here. Where aren't you going? Ah, you're fermenting. Alright, you know what? I'll leave that here. I may be a bit of grass we collected outside and that when it's wrapping that time off. Yeah. What I mean is, sometimes when you're doing contract work, if you mow, like I tend to do outside of the field, sometimes when it starts wrapping and you're still, and it picks up from part of the grass that is outside of the field, like outside the boundary or whatever, do get some little bits of discrepancy of it'll say it's your bell, not the contract bell, because if it was a contract bell, it'll instantly ferment. However, since it did instantly ferment, that is technically our bell, so we'll leave that there. And I'm just gonna return the trailer. So yeah, we got the fence here. Oh meant to keep the uh, what's it, the CZ pack thing off for that, but <coughs> I can say return that. Hmm, apologies for the cough there. And yeah, I think we did one more for his contract afterwards, and yeah, so we're up to 90.6 mil. But yeah, also what I've been doing is actually, if we go to here, I've gone and placed down some more beehives. Like, first of all, I was placing one of these down every 150 meters. And if you know what 150 meter is, if you look at the bottom left corner of the screen, hopefully in post I'll let it zoom in. Actually, let's do it from here, walking wise. So, where we're we at the moment, we're at, ignore the left one, that's our degree of rotation. So, we're at 1839 over 452, so we are 1.8 meters along the x-axis along the bottom, so if the left of the map is zero, right to the map is 2,000 meters, since base game maps and all console maps are 2 kilometers by 2 kilometers. So you're at 139452. I'll start walking back. See that middle number going down? So we want to wrap. What was it? Let's say 140 here. And every bit going down is 1 meter. And these beehives has range, I think it's 150 meters. So we're almost at 100 meters. Okay, that's 100 meters. Go down to 150. Okay, out to slightly adjust there because oh, we're hitting stuff. So, but yeah, that is what 1690. So from here, so yeah, let's go to the map. So where we are now, right here up to let's turn on animals to here so if you take that distance that is just the diameter so imagine that going not, not like that but imagine that going around like a circle so actually being placed on the beehives I've been placing them down too often because that is quite a big range 150 meters when you think about it so yeah, that beehive will cover 
this field, this field, just touching this field, maybe you'll cover this field. So yeah, we'll cover all of that area up there, and including bits up up here as well. We worked on these fields here. Obviously, we don't own these area, but we do own them. But we can't work on them because it's outside the boundary. <coughs> but yeah, so all right, yeah, it's a bit of a diversion there on beehives and that. I'm sure I covered it in my bee tour video or guide to bees when FS22 first came out. But yeah, we've got 80,000 litres of Surrey. That's going in. And yeah, since that is full, that's going to take a while to process. So we've got silage. Turn on Surrey. Got a bit of manure in. Now we do have silage and Surrey. But yeah, the problem is, a lot of these are to the maxis. Distributors, that's why I put another two down here and I've put a, another two down over here yep one and two and these are the overpowered ones so obviously yeah we do get a little bit of money back but that money is covering the cost of all of this because this ain't running constantly so the monthly cost you know this is for the community we are paying for it still, so if I go over to you, yeah, because since we're still taking payments, because still technically our property now, technically speaking, but that is our choice. We put it down for the community, and we're covering the cost of running it. So to the local council at Banwell, it's just. So I think for the community, technically by the community, as paid for by a generous a participant of the community, so anyways, role playing to the side. Now we need to drill our field, so we're doing soybeans and sorghum. And I can't remember what I said what order was going to do these, but I'm thinking If we do soybeans here, and then sorghum on 88, and these two fields here as well. Actually, yeah, no, let's do sorghum on these fields. Apologies there, I got distracted. So yeah, I'm thinking actually if we do sorghum here, because we can get the straw, and for the, maybe the final episode, or before the final episode, I want to do straw pellets again, because Yes, we had fun over here. I said over here with this with the straw harvest pack and that by Creative Mesh. And it's good. However, from what I've learned, I've I got this from Mr. P's video. Technically as well I've noticed it just cashed around using the mixer wagon. But yeah, any straw you put into one of these, say mix wagons. So yeah, so we got 30,000 liters. Yeah, that's what I'm using, 45,000 liters. Brain fart moment there. So yeah, as I was saying, it's if any straw goes into these mix wagons with the straw harvester pack enabled, it counts it as Pellets, and as we've learned with the pet straw harvest pellets, every thousand liters of straw pellets is four thousand liters of loose straw gnats, and that makes sense because obviously, with the pellet production, as I was saying before, my headset was playing up there a little bit. So, yeah, uh, yeah when you compact the straw, it goes from four thousand liters of loose material to a thousand liters of pellets. So I'm thinking, yeah, when we get all this straw from all of these fields, let's convert them to pellets, and we know pellets are extremely profitable. So I'm thinking, as I'm crashing here, do not drive close to a car, because you're going to get in the way. Yeah, sort of end up running up the series. 
Let's see how much money we can get from these pellets because I am interested to see of if you do pellets at a large scale and with realistic ways of doing it rather than just buying straw and that. How much can you get? So, so yeah, let's do sorghum. So, sorghum's there. And yeah, is there any more? I have interest in any planting contracts. I did see one for uh, cotton, not cotton, corn earlier. But no. Ugh. That's thing with AI traffic, it's like. Ugh. I'm not, yeah, I'm just not having a good day today. Oh, uh, yeah, so, well, I can't remember what I was saying until that car interrupted. Oh, yeah, with AI traffic, like, it doesn't have proximity to certain stuff sometimes, and that's when it leads to collisions. Yep, doesn't help with my driving. But I'm a big, this is big. You're in a small car. In real life, I would end up ending you in real life if that was the case. You know, a big tractor gnat come down the road with a massive drill gnat. You can get absolutely smushed, so why be an idiot? Well, anyways, let's head to the fields, get this all set up and ready, and then let's start drilling for the final time of this series. Most likely. Ah, so there we go. Let's turn this on. So yeah, we've got oh some more contracts popped up. Ted in, Ted in, signage and Ted in. So ooh. you know what? I'm gonna accept the hay contracts. We'll do those in between drilling that. So yeah, let's go and get these drills. So draw this. Then we'll move on to this. Actually no, drill here come out, go down, do 90, 92, now it'll lead us to here, and I think there's an access way to 100, if not, I have to go out here, then along this path, by 110, and down to 100, but hopefully you don't need to do that, so, obviously since we can direct drill, we don't need to worry about doing any cultivating or anything like that. Perhaps it could have been worth mulching the grass now, but yeah, we're sort of getting to the end of the series now. Yeah, it's not so much not caring or not not caring or frustrating like with the recent uh, Survival Challenge episode where, yeah, got harvesting the, uh, what's it, grapes and then just, yeah, got frustrating I say rage and that rage quit and that, but yeah, just had enough of it. Just the difference here is profits. Like we're at almost twenty million pounds again, and we're doing these contracts and that. These will just keep us buying that, just ticking over ever so slightly, just ever so enough, and that just so that we can have a comfortable living because our mansion all the way over there, in the distance. That's going to cost us a good £10 million. And obviously that's including any agency fees and that, any inspection fees and that, after doing the castle. Obviously it's real estate, so it's a bit of a... In a way, it's an acting investment. As you know, the best way to make money nowadays is through investment in things like real estate. Hashtag not financial advice, but uh, well, I'll say that. Obviously, there's a lot of things nowadays. It's if you're smart enough with the money and that, then yeah. Project. Anyone can invest, anyone can succeed if they know what they're doing. It's just sometimes you get there, bad luck happens with markets and that. But yeah, it's one of those things when it comes to investing, especially with like stocks and that. Then that is more predictable in a way. Especially if you've got anything like, I would say insider knowledge, but I uh, know there's apps nowadays where, or at least in the, in the US, I know that you can follow 
where your politicians are investing in, where they're trading at. And obviously, with people like politicians, they do have a hidden advantage, obviously. When it comes to investment and, yeah, general insider trading. That's what it is. Uh, yeah, politicians, yeah. They'll use their will and, and just profit where they can. Obviously, TLDR would be anything to do with military, pharmaceuticals and that. That's pretty much a guaranteed a win. And things like, looking in the future, things like AI and robotics and that. Even though I've got my own two cents about AI and that. In a way, it can be used for the good. It's here. Make the most of it. Make the most of it in a good way. No point to win on it or anything. Bodge there, I had to clear my fruit out. Yeah, just a bit of a sniffles this evening I've got for some reason. But yeah, just it's one thing that's my issue with a lot of things, especially with social media and that, it's it's here. Must well accept it and use it in a positive way. Things like uh, what was it I watched recently? Um Oh yeah, I sort of watched the Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer movie recently. And then, yeah, just sort of watch a YouTube video by Veritasium about the story behind Oppenheimer and that. But the stories and that links to communism and that, and especially after watching it after watching the film, it puts so much things into perspective and just shows you how. Just. Ooh, don't do me to draw that. Yeah, just put things into perspective of how good. Veritasium is with his videos and that. But yeah, it's like just the little stories and that, like behind the nuclear bomb and that. And the famous saying of, oh, what was it? Become the death of structure and destroyer of worlds and that. Or the father of death or something like that. I cannot remember the exact quote on top of my mind, especially I watched it, what? About five hours ago or on the day, so. Hard to believe I've. I already forgot the quote. He had father of death and destroyer of worlds. Or giving birth to death or something like that. I'm really butchering up the quotes, but there's a yeah, bit of philosophical meaning behind things like that, but yeah, that's not for this video and that's not for me to cover and that there's plenty of channels on YouTube and other platforms like Rumble and all that that could Sure, cover topics like this, but anyways, obviously, yeah, this is where we've mucked the fills recently, so you get to see that little glimpse in of manure and slurry. I think, yeah, we've got a lot of digestive we can use because, yeah, we are part of the community and we can use it, but it's the spreaders and that, and they just go out so quickly. For so many trips, and yep, that's real life. I know that's reason. I'm not complaining about reason, but for me personally, where we are with this series with this let's play, I feel something different like I was doing a full on reason series. And yeah, maybe actually, did I do a reason series on oh, what was it? I don't show than that before the map just got completely bugged out on me. Yeah, I think I did something like that. And yeah, I don't know why I did come back this way and thought, ooh, saw the dark sword texture and that. Is that where I may have sighted for a lice? Because yeah, when we did a whole spray and that, we did a mixture. And actually, we do we need to. Actually, we don't need to put any fertilizer on this, so. It just puts it down automatically, which kinda sucks. But, you know what, even if we run out, I'm gonna go T1. And, worst case scenario, we'll just put... a bit of fertilizer on afterwards. I think we've still got the spread of these, haven't we? Yep, yeah, we've still got these, so borrow it for another two, two weeks now. Or two in-game days, and yep, yeah, we will be golden. But anyways... 
let's get this done and I'll see you folks ooh, in a couple of hours of in-game time maybe shouldn't take us too long to get all this drilled but yeah I'll get this done and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here There we go, we are done with all of the work, and now what she needs to do is take us all back to the farm. Yep, skip ahead till May, and yeah, let's go and have a little look, shall we? Let's go to our growing seat, so, yep, that's all growing lovely, and just a reminder, yep, soybean, soybean, soybean. Actually, you know what? Since that is soybeans, what furrows are you? Ooh, fully fertilized. Even better. So let's go and purchase that ticket. Might as well, since we've got soybeans up there already. And yeah, really, there's no more fields to drill. Maybe 85 get a contract for that, or fertilize at least. Yeah, because it's planted, so yeah, furrows and contract on 85. But apart from that, it's all grass fields. And we do have a lot of size contracts, so we'll get these done. Well, we just had a game crashed, but yeah, as I was saying, we had that 25,000 litre bell. That's gone in, and uh, again, another auto save. I love these auto saves, but they can be a pain in the bum, especially when it's poorly timed and that. But yeah, anyways, as I was saying, with the contract work situation, so yeah, that first bell that went in, that filled, well, completed the requirements for 25, so once we've moved that, technically that contract's completed, has not touched on 65, the bigger contract, and it's completed nearly half of 66, so just by that math alone, we just need two more 25,000 litre bells, almost well, we said 25,000 centimetres, but nope. 25,000 your bells and that will get all of these two completed and yeah make sure all these contracts are still here lovely jubbly so you got one two one of five one two seven and one two eight is together so yeah overall not too shabby 
Ah, yeah, most gone up. Ooh, we're already now up to 21 mil. So, guessing all the additions we've put in, that's us to get some healthy subsidiaries from the local authority in that. I guess they must be transporting that nationwide in that. Let's just go this way. Because, yeah, still we can earn a million pounds in a month. Just from Banwell, even if it's like Avon and Somerset region as well. So, yeah. I'm glad we are profiting. And yeah, we're still giving back to the community, like... Let's just check on our productions before we leave for today. On these greenhouses. Oh, once again, we're going to need more honey. No worries. Especially now with all the new beehives we put in, so should be fine on that. Could do some more butter at some point, turn that off for the time being, before I forget. The soups are doing good. We're going to be running out of red beet soon. But fair enough, we didn't get much red beet this year, so or last year. But yeah, overall not too worried. Could it all this just run as sell? Like the premium expansion has been good. The straw pellets I'm looking forward to. Oh yeah, we're outside. Out Zurich's turn these off. Out of manure. And yeah, for example, yeah, the community's got 500,000 years of digestive to spread, so that will cover a lot of fields. And yeah, obviously, yeah, all topped up with water, and the thing actually, what I may do is, like, when we get the wheat, barley, oats, and that, let's put some of these crops in here, like, get, this, get these productions sorry, get them kicking off. Obviously, we're going to be starting on the ethanol. And yeah, just the problem is we've got so much electricity, if you can sell that directly to the grid, so... But yeah, like 36,000 litres of diesel. But yeah, once we get these other biofuels going, we're going to get some compost and that. And just, yeah, overall, we are looking good. So... Come on, get out of here. I do. Sometimes see detaching and reattaching does the job. There we go, spare us lift it up a little bit on the back. And that's it, just what I did was I just started unfolding it. I'm guessing that raises or lowers the wheels. Oh yeah it does. Raises the wheels, so that gives that bit of ground clearance we needed. Actually, let's go on the unload the seat. Put the seeds back in here. And what we can do now is go ahead and return. Anything interesting, use market. Ooh, there is that. Does the community need logs and that? Hmm. That's giving me some ideas. Depending on how the trees grow over the coming months. Maybe in summer that we can do again she could be a forestry net. Why tires, yes or no? <coughs> and just for 165 grand as well. So actually, how are the trees doing? So, we'll go to the vehicle shop. Yeah, Axe bought some silage and TMR by accident. Doing good, so. Yeah, they're still baby trees though. If they can grow a bit more over the coming months, because at the moment there's just little itty bitty twigs. Let's get the drone out a sec. Yeah, there's all little itty bitty twigs. All blooming at different rates, like these trees here. They've bloomed a bit more. Oh, you can probably tell the differences. Actually, these are spruce. Yeah, that's spruce in. Ah, oh, maybe they're... So yeah, if they, do, if they grow a bit more to these... Still doing a bit bigger. Not at its maximum size, if it's at its maximum size, which would take another year or so. That would not be good, because there's only... Farms of water on, with farms 
the farm sim in general, there's only one tree. <coughs> yeah, that could cut them down because these can only cut up to uh, really 58 centimeter trees, like diameter wise. So, if you had two forestry machines, base game wise, 71 centimeter, 64. Like the rotten, that's part of the rotten DLC in FS19. 80 centimeters. But yeah, 70 centimeters, 65. But for the massive ones, you'll need something like that. If we cut enough down, get these two going. Seeing that, I've never been the biggest fans of when it comes to grabbing forks now, like with logs and that. What I tend to go to is usually the big pack support stuff or CZ pack, or even something like a manure fork and that with a with a uh, grapple and that. That's my go-to. That is a lot easier to deal with. Like log forks themselves are good, but because they're so space apart, yeah, it just means that it gets a bit difficult with loading logs and that. Oh yeah, before we got distracted, I could return you, I could return you, and to get these slide contracts done, in between episodes, I'm going to lease this, so, yep, bigger engine please, nope, standard tyres, and yeah, just do a quick colour, so, case red, massy, Go with a massy red. Thinking white or white or red. Ugh, nope. A hint of black. Actually, you know what? We'll go and lease out. Lease that for a couple of months. Yeah, we could buy it. Of course, we could. Oh, we get those beaters. However. So go to our beaters. You know we're going to these, of course. So, <coughs> quick, quick bell. Quick, quick. So we want that one. Ah, yep. I'm not too fast. Lizard. Kubota Crone brand. Worker lights. I'm not too worried about hitches. Sure. Slice additive tank, yos. Go with blue foil. Go with a massy red main cutter. And rims. Let's go with white. Ooh, toothpaste. See, so, yep, we'll go and the sat. And yep, of course, we've got our semi trailer, but. What I used last time for the Sledge Bells early on in the episode was... Ooh, which one was it? Ah, it's that one there. <coughs> so part of the Full Bells pack. Of course, any other auto traders will work. Actually, no. <coughs> no, 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 we had issues with this. It loses it straight away. What's what I used on... Ugh, it must be... Vinci... No, not Vinci Survival. So I used the same configuration. Ah, New Man's Land. I think it was the these are platform trails, the orange and green ones. But yeah, always get stuck like that. Like I've move, I move it forward. Let's detach the header and that. Yeah, every time I load in, it springs back. But yeah, as I was saying, yeah, get that corrected. So yeah, that's what we're going to leave it today. So yeah, I'll get these contracts done in between episodes. In terms of how many episodes we've got left. Now I'm thinking if we do an episode on forestry. An episode on the final harvest. Episode on destroying that in relation to other bits. That's just the main things of the episode. There's other bits we will of course do. Yeah, but like, sure that includes the pellet production and that. In a way that you basically normally have not seen. And then 
try and think. Yeah, just the final episode of wrap things up and plan on where we're going to next. So yeah. Yeah, was that four episodes I think? So yeah. At least four episodes there, so maybe a week or so, yeah, four episodes in well about two weeks at most. So I've got some plans on some other videos I want to do. And it's one video I'm gonna be doing after I've done this Let's Play series. So what I'm gonna do is like similar way from No Man's Land, what I'm gonna be doing is once I've wrapped up the series and I'm opinion on these maps and the fact that I've got what four to eight hundred hours in this map. I know that's a broad spectrum, but when the video comes out or in the next episode I'll explain more. But yeah, if I've done at least four hundred hours on this map. And yeah, like with her on episode, like where I've just lost track of time off doing little bits here and there. Yeah, of course. Zombie is because I've put stuff in, you need to keep up reproductions and that. I um, should have turned there. Oh no, 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 turned here. But yeah, just the general. Okay, things like that, it's handy to have collisionable, but well, no collisions, shall I say, with the hedges when you cock up in that. But yeah, just in general, this map, I, I'm in love with this map and. And in fairness, I'm in no rush to get the series ended. I will, will come. I may start it once I wrap up No Man's Land this week, because that series will be wrapped up. One or two episodes left. Maybe one episode, I think. I'm trying to think of it. Yeah, No Man's Land's got one episode left, so. Yeah, overall, I'm in no rush to end this. Like, I'm still loving the map. Yeah, I know it's been overdone in that, I've said many times. There's a reason why this map is overdone. It's such a good map. One, it's my auction name it. And two, it's just the general scenery. Like, even like outside, it's absolutely beautiful and stunning. And yeah, all of that is more to come. At least wrap up this video because I'll try to keep these videos a bit shorter than that within reason. But yep, yeah, so that's for gonna leave it today. And as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, Smash that button, feel free to comment below. If you want to share yourself, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to it, then please consider. But, before you just do, hope you're nice today. But for now, it's before my Envoy stream, and I'll see you all very soon.